What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, briefly want to talk about Hellblade 2 or Senua Saga Hellblade 2. Talk about the news today that there is photo mode coming with the game, and I like the way they announce it, right? So they say photo mode is returning in it, and they, you know, the pictures that they show, which we'll talk about in a second, they look freaking insane. Uh, they were captured using photo mode of the game. So, number one, that's a great addition. Um, you know, photo mode really needs to become the, I think it is already, but needs to continue to become the normal for pretty much every game under the planet it's not used by everyone in fact i don't even use it all that much but it is a feature i think diehards like absolutely you know it's a requirement at this point secondly the game looks so freaking good that of course i mean this is just a show off like ego boosting thing right like of course you have photo mode because you work so hard to make the game look like that why not let people take pictures every five seconds right and then you get the pictures and yeah i mean like the detail, the realism, it looks unbelievable. And, you know, we've, we've had games, like I would say, Alan Wake 2 last year looks really, really good. I mean, th there's some really nice looking, you know, kind of photorealistic games over the last little while. Now, you know, I'm sure we'll talk about this more. I mean, this game comes out pretty darn soon, right? Two months from now. So we'll, we'll talk about it more and more as we get closer. But I want to just throw it out there. One of the first things I think people will say is, Graphics aren't everything, and that's totally true. That is something that I think the discussion is going to be about this game, you know, as we get closer, because the first game, I mean, it looked really good, and I think it was more about what it pushed in terms of the audio, right? Like, that, that game was something really special in terms of you had to have headphones on, because if you had headphones on, the experience is just, it's, again, almost a requirement of how good and how much you're actually playing as her versus if you're just, like, listening to it out of a TV or out of speakers, right? Like, it's different. So that's such a big part of it, and the visuals were good, but I wouldn't say they were, like, the most legendary thing of all time. This game, I think, is going to keep, you know, the sound. The sound is going to be very important to it. The visuals are going to be very important, but I will, I will agree. I will agree with the game needs to do everything else, and now the gameplay has looked fine to maybe, like, slightly above fine in what we've seen so far. It doesn't have to be incredible. It doesn't have to be the greatest thing of all time, but the combat and those kind of, you know, the mechanics have to move up, right? Because that was the weak link in the last game, and, you know, for an experimental thing and for a game that kind of took the world by storm, for what it was I think it was you know it, it did its job and, and we'll talk about Hellblade 1 actually as we get closer to I have a lot of things to say but Hellblade 2 yes I do agree and we'll go more into it over the next couple months everything else does need to improve with it you can't you can't just rely on the visuals you can stare at the game and it'll always look beautiful right but if if the rest of the stuff isn't up to snuff well you know the game's gonna fall short now I have a lot of faith in it I think it's gonna be one of the better games of the year um, so I'm just like saying it as almost like a quote unquote warning but I actually have a lot of confidence that this will be like a well packaged game so we'll talk about it more as the months go on it's going to be you know, I'm going to cover Hellblade 1 on, on my third channel back to the past we'll talk about Hellblade 2 more on podcasts now you're going to see videos for it kind of all over the place let me know what you think make sure you're subscribed to the channel bell icon turned on I hope to see you all on the next one